to find out how dirty an air filter can be, people. Not the worst one I've ever seen. But it is pretty crusty. Somehow, the cleaner got clogged. Motherfucker. Well, that's no good. Let's see if the valve off the foam treatment will work. Because if it don't, I got a can of cleaner that ain't worth shit. It kind of works. The new valve I just put on there just clogged too. Next question is, can it be fixed? Yes, it can. All right, now that's thoroughly saturated, I'm gonna go get some water and uh, try and get it rinsed out. Now, according to the manual, you're supposed to give it 15 or 20 minutes to dry once you squeeze it out. Or if you're like me, and you're impatient, you just go get the air compressor and blow all the moisture out of it, which I'll do here momentarily. So I'll be right back. your air filter. You almost always have shit on once you take it out. Personally, I take the same shit that you use to clean the filter, spray it down. Now, what you do, put it back together, like so. <clears throat> Which can be a little bit annoying sometimes.
Make sure your hole lines up. Now, take some foam filter treatment for your show red foam. Different ways to do it. One is to put it in a bag and sit there and squeeze it around after you spray this shit on it. Um, the way I do it, I coat the inside, the outside, knead it a little bit, get the stuff all over my hands, make a fucking mess, and then put it in the bike. Just coat it. Doesn't have to be real heavy. Doesn't, don't want to be too light. You want to make sure you got it everywhere. Stuff's tacky, kind of like glue as it sets up. When it comes out, it's kind of liquidy though. And on the inside, you just coat everything. Which is why the frame was red when I washed it earlier. Then I put a coat on the seal, which some people say do, some people say don't. Now the filter should be tacky, which it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Take it, run your bolt back through, make sure everything's lined up. Slide it into place. Prepare to cuss. Looks like I'm gonna have to go get another side cover screw this one and then the back's missing. Which isn't hard since I live right next to a motorcycle shop. I'll either have to order it or probably get a uh, replacement that's not factory. Which is fine as long as it threads in and it's got a nice fat head on it or I can get a washer for it from them. It cost me probably 25 cents if I'm lucky. If not, it'll cost me a buck because I'll have to order one. Thanks for watching, folks. Talk to you later.